Garisiydi lan ki şey toplam olmuyor. Garisiydi. Bakın da bana ya. Var is out to leave when it got to rise it there. That's why we are here. Because you lack the knowledge of God. That's right. With the knowledge of God, it will prevent all of that. We know. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You see that? If we obey, abide to this law, a lot of kings will be jumping brothers over here in the law. Right. This family's out here. Right. Everybody got their kids with them. Why is a lot of kings terrorizing your neighborhood? Why are you doing anything about it? Because you lack God's law. That's, That's right. right. Give me out of Hosea uh, 5 and 15. Because you lack God's laws. That's why God is angry with you. That's why God shoots you down in the street right. through the police. God controls all of that. And when you don't keep his household rules, he punishes his children. Read. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Read it out. I will go and return to my place. So God said he's going to go and return to his place. He's not in your Catholic churches. He's not in your rosary beads. God doesn't care about that cross that's on your neck. Teach. He said read. He said that. He said what? Read that again. I will go and return to my place. He said I'm going to go return to my place until what? Until they acknowledge their offense. Until you realize, you know what? It was my fault why Adam Timito got killed. It's all of y'all's fault. It ain't just a Latin king because you live next to, to a Latin king. Your brother is a Latin king. Your cousin is a Latin king. But you don't tell them to stop game begging. You don't tell them to stop killing one another. It's business as usual. Look at you. You out here selling on the Lord's Sabbath day. You out here buying on the Lord's Sabbath day. Bring it up. Read it from the top. I will go and return to my place. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until you acknowledge, you know what? I am a child of God. I have to do what God says. Read on. And seek my face. And you have to seek after God. Because you know what? When you seek after God, then you will start having peace in your neighborhood. Right. There won't be any more out of Toledo's getting killed. Right. Read on. In their affliction, they will seek me early. The only time you go over to listen to God, God knows you to a T. Until there's going to be more out of Toledo's. Right. Because you know what? That little son that's next to you right now in this line, he's, he's at high risk of being an Adam Toledo. But you're not going to want to listen to God until it happens to you. Why aren't you out here protesting for Adam Toledo? Do you not care? I got to preach that for you. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 20. Read it out. If any man say, I love God, and hated his brother, he is a liar. You hear that? Because y'all gonna go to church tomorrow. Y'all gonna go to mass. You gonna say you love Jesus Christos. Yeah. But God said if you hate your brother, you're a liar. Gee. You don't love God. Because you gonna stop Adam Toledo from getting killed. Yeah. You won't tell a lot of kids to put the guns down. Shame on you. Read it again. If any man say, I love God, and hated his brother, he is a liar. You hear that? If any man say he loved God, but hate his brother, he is a liar. You not stopping Adam Toledo from having a gun, you showed hatred to him. Right. Read on. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he have not seen, how can he love God, whom he have not seen? So if you see your brother, but you still want to beat him down, because he got his hat turned to the right, right. but you wear your hat turned to the left, you hate your brother if you beat him down. How can you say you love God? Right. That makes zero sense. Teach. Give me some rock seven and one. Because here's the thing. Right. Anthony Alvarez on the north side got killed. Why ain't no protesters about that? Why did a 22-year-old have a gun? Teach. For what? Why is Adam Toledo dead? Are you going to stop the next Adam Toledo from getting killed? 
Here's the solution. Read. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 7 and verse 1. Bring it out. Do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. If you do no evil, no harm comes unto you. So if you're not packing a gun at 13, if you're not a lot of gun, a lot of key, supplying the gun to a lot of key, what would not happen? Do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. Because I hear gay begging selling drugs to your people is evil. Right. To be told, that's why I don't got killed. Bring it out. Because you allow the evil to go on in your neighborhood. That's so right. So God brought judgment. Read it again for the top. Do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee. Do no evil, so no harm come unto thee. Yeah, yeah. Those brothers that jumped that young man in the parking lot, some evil is going to come to them. Why? Because they don't love their brother. You're supposed to love your brother, not hate him. Right. So when the retaliation happens and they die, don't, don't cry. Don't cry. You put it on yourself. Bring it out. Read verse 2. Verse 2. Depart from the unjust. Depart from the unjust. Depart from selling drugs. Right. Depart from giving Adam Toledo guns so right. he can get killed by the police. Right. Depart from selling on the Sabbath day. Depart from buying on the Sabbath day. Depart from women wearing bands. We don't. Depart from the unjust and iniquity shall turn away from thee. You understand that? Because once you start to repent, you start to cleave up to God more. You start to want to do what God does. Right. Hey, excuse me, sir. You know, what happened to Adam Toledo? What happened to him? You don't want to talk about it? You don't care? You don't care about Adam Toledo? What's funny about Adam Toledo? There's nothing funny about it. You see that? Our people don't care. Why is she laughing that Adam Toledo got killed by the police? I don't yeah. find that funny. I do not find that funny. Isaiah 58. Read that. I do not find anything funny about our people getting killed. Right. Either by the hands by, by our own people or by the hands by the police. Right. There's nothing funny about that. Jeez. This is serious business we're out here doing. We're doing the Lord's work today. And we're trying to save your soul from being the next Adam Toledo. Or be the next person that's over there in the Cook County Jail. Why do our people love madness? The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 9. Read it out. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. Uh -huh. If thou take away from me the midst of the yoke, and the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity. You understand that? Because we have to stop blaming everybody else for our mishaps. Right. For the crime that's coming into our neighborhood. This is our fault. Right. This is Little Village. I thought the village was supposed to raise up a child. Right. But why is the village helping the children get killed? Bring it out. Why aren't the elders helping the younger men from not getting killed by the Latin Kings and the SD? And the Ambrose. And the two sixes, the bunny folks. What is wrong with us? Why are we crazy and mad in the brain? Because we fit the curses. You are not Mexicans. You are the tribe of Issachar. That's right. God created you to be great on this earth. Right. You understand that? God created you to be the greatest thing on this earth. But you don't want to do that. Give me Malachi 2 and 7. Because what we are here to do, we're going to teach the law. And we ain't going to care if you like it or not. Teach. Because we are the real pastors, the real priests. That's right. What you go to on those Sunday churches, with them stained glass windows, that's called idolatry. Right. That's called perversion. That's called sin. Read that. Uh, the book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Read it. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The priest's lips shall keep knowledge. We should be giving you knowledge. Show you how to not get killed on the streets. Show you how to be a real father to your son. Right. Show you how to be a real husband to your wife. This is the knowledge that we're talking about. Read on. And they should seek the law at his mouth. God put all the rules in this book called the Bible. Many of you have the Bible in your, in your house right now. But many of you do not care about what's said in this Bible. That's right. That's why you get gunned down in the streets. That's why 
There's a lot of kings running your that world terrorizing everything. Teach. Give me Isaiah 3 and 12. Bring it out. Because you know what? Although this neighborhood may have fathers in it, but you aren't there mentally. You aren't there spiritually. The women is running everything. Right. And the women is what? Raising your kids to be monsters. Raising your kids to be terrorists in this neighborhood. It is everything. All you got to do is look at Adam Toledo. All you got to do is go right here on 26th of California. Why is 26th of California filled with blacks and Hispanics? Why is this so-called Mexicans filled with prison houses? Teach. Read that, uh. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 12. Read it out. As for my people. As for my people, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, read. Children are their oppressors. Children are their oppressors. Children are their oppressors. The Latin kings oppress our neighborhood. That's how Adam Toledo got that gun. Same disciples. That's how innocent disciples. You understand that, brother? We terrorize each other's neighborhood. Read it for the top. As for my people, children are their oppressors. As for the Hispanics, the Mexicans, children oppress our neighborhood little village. How did Adam Toledo get killed? How did Adam Toledo get killed? He got killed because his own brother oppressed him. That's right. He got killed because his own brother gave him a gun. You understand that? Oh, we get killed in the streets and we don't care. We ride by and like everything is fine. The temperature is hot. Guess what? That means we about to die because we crazy. Give me that uh, Deuteronomy 20, uh, 28, 28. Yep. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 28. Hold this. Yep, hold that. We're going to go right back to it. The book of Deuteronomy. We don't keep God's laws, so he put curses on us. He said, hey, if you do my laws, you'll be blessed. If you don't do my laws, you're going to be cursed. Right. This is why kids oppress our neighborhoods. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. Read read out. And the Lord shall smite thee with madness. You hear that? The Lord is going to smite you with madness. He's going to smite you with madness to the point where, you know what? Hey, look, let's go blow down the Latin kings. We as these. Who cares if they come on our block? This is our, this is our territory. Right. But you the same people. Why are you killing your brother? Hey, sister, how did Adam Toledo get killed? Oh, you don't care? Right. You don't care? How did Adam Toledo get killed, sister? How did Adam Toledo get killed, sis? You don't care either? You just want to sell your product? Bring it out. Is that all you care about? Is is filthy Danilo? That's all you care about? Stop Adam Toledo's from getting killed. Then we on the same level. You understand that? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, 28 and verse 28. Read. Read out. And the Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Lord is going to smite thee with madness. That means you're going to be crazy to rage in the brain. You ain't gonna find no problem with killing a 13 year old. You ain't gonna find no problem with getting a 13 year old a gun so he can shoot down by the police. Why aren't you doing anything about it? What happened to Adam Toledo? Primo, what happened to Adam Toledo? You don't know? You don't know who Adam Toledo is? Why you don't know? He got killed in the village by the police by a Latin, a Latin king gave him guns. Why you don't know that? Do you have a 13 year old son? What if that was your son? Then you would care. Read it again. The Lord shall smite thee with blood. Excuse me. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness of heart. Because we think, because if you walk down the street talking to yourself, if you got phone coming out of your mouth, that makes you crazy. No, another version of making you crazy is not caring about your people. That's right. I'm not caring about what happens to them. Right. We should know who Adam Toledo is. We should be stopping Adam Toledo from getting killed. We should be stopping Adam Toledo from getting guns by Latin kings and saint disciples. You understand that? But all we care about is our own thing. You got a 13 year old son, you got kids? Don't you care what happened to your kids? We should care about what happened to your neighbor's kids too. That's right. Go back to uh, Leviticus. We gonna come back to Isaiah. Go back to Leviticus 19. Let me touch on his hatred a little bit more. Because his hatred runs too deep in us. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Read. 
Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. God says to not hate your brother in your mind. You shouldn't be walking around thinking hatred. You shouldn't be walking around thinking, you know what? He's a different gang than me. He got his hat turned to the right, so I'm going to shoot him down. That's hatred. God says don't do it. Read up. A lot of y'all got rosary beads on your neck. A lot of y'all do this, but you hate your brother. Shame on you. Right. God says what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Say it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. One more time, bro. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt not hate Adam Toledo to give him a gun so he can get killed by the police. Bruno. You understand that? Do that go through your head? A lot of y'all across the street have kids. What if your son is the next Adam Toledo? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.